to do. Alright, to start you're going to take a reddish brown acrylic paint and paint like a rectangle on wax paper. Then with any latex glue down cotton rods that you can get at any dollar store. Then once that dries, take another layer of liquid latex and just apply anything to give it texture. I used coffee grounds, pulled apart cotton balls, and tissue paper. Originally, I painted it, but then decided I needed more cotton rods to add dimension. So this is whatever you think would look good. So this is just me experimenting. I used liquid latex and tissue paper and just twirled it around to make it look like gross skin or tissue or whatever is in your body, because nobody knows. <laughs> After you let that dry, it is time to paint. <laughs> I took acrylic paint and vegetable glycerin to water it down and I just painted the intestines and everything a bright red and left the pockets black to create depth and dimension. Next for the flap of skin, ew that is a gross word, anyways. You will need unflavored gelatin packets, vegetable glycerin, a microwavable cup, wax paper, and a pan. Preferably a cookie sheet. To start this, you will take your unflavored gelatin packets, vegetable glycerin, and water in a 1 to 1 to 1 and a half ratio. For me, it took about 8 packets, but it depends on what size you want to make it. After you get it to this consistency, pour it on your wax paper and make sure it's not too thin or else when you try to pull it up, it'll rip. Quickly before your gelatin sets all the way, take any utensil and add texture to the top of it. This will add as the ripped tissue, but make sure you don't go too far down to rip the perfect thing in my bobber, whatever thing. Oh yes, look at that skin, looks great. After sticking it in the freezer for a couple minutes, I took acrylic paint and vegetable glycerin and painted it very lightly across the texturized flap. Ew, it's still a really gross word, why? Don't cover it completely, you still wanna make sure you see the like tan parts for like that. After it dries, you want to take a cream paint. I used like a really light tan and use it just as a highlight to make those fat glistens. Hey guys, it's me, Rai. First, you're going to take some cotton rods and dip it in latex and start shaping the cotton rods into like muscle brain things. Yeah, anyways. You're going to section it out into two parts because your brain is sectioned out to two parts. And make sure you have like some kind of line in the middle. But yeah, so you got your first part done, then you're going to like cover it, it in it more latex so and spread it all around. <laughs> like this. I don't know how I'm gonna pause this video. I can't touch anything. Pizza's here! Ah! Next thing you're gonna do is you're going to put more cotton rods only at the first two sections of like the top of the brain to make it more like round and brainy. So you're going to layer that out and then you're going to add blood. 
But before I did that, I kind of like darkened all of the crevices so it can like add dimension. But then you cover it in blood, only in the like the crevices as well, and it just like bleeds out. Now you're gonna like make the skin flap. Ooh, that does sound weird. <laughs> you're going to lay out tissue paper and you're gonna lay out cotton pads all the way across. And you're going to layer that in latex and you're just going to keep folding and adding more latex and folding and adding more latex to get like this skin-like texture. And then once you're done, when it's done drying, you're going to peel off the actual cotton and tissue paper and so you'll have like this nice great skin around your brain obviously you're going to have latex all the way around your brain and you're going to apply it to make sure it's over your brain so it's like yeah that's your skin and your brain is coming out of your skin yeah now you're going to take a hot glue gun and some either Barbie doll hair or extensions to match your hair and you're just going to hot glue it together. Alright, back to the guts. You are going to take your cut out guts and spirit gum them down to the stomach. Once it dries, take cream paint in red, brown, and black and just blend the guts into the skin. Then taking fake blood, just pour it all over your stomach and guts and nastiness. <laughs> We're gonna apply the skin flap, still a gross word, and just take any foundation that you have that matches and cover the gelatin. I've tried to glue the gelatin down with spirit gum and latex and nothing worked other than paper towels. So I folded a paper towel in half and just globbed on a bunch of liquid latex and I took about two paper towels to do this, so do whatever helps. After 20 minutes messing with your hair and just trying to look cute for the camera. You're going to take some uh, red to make irritation around the mouth because your mouth is going to be guarded. Well, I, my mouth is guarded. Uh, so it's gonna be like really red and rashy, but you don't wanna make it too red because then it will just look like the Joker. And he's cool, but you do not wanna look like him. Next, you're gonna take some eyeliner and you're going to put it underneath the eye and you're gonna have it dripping, kind of like in my other video, my Valentine's Day video, but not as extreme. Now you're gonna put like normal eyeshadow on. I did darker colors to represent like the evil that's going on, and I kind of did it messy after we all started dancing. <laughs> now you're going to tease up your hair because you're like kidnapped by an evil scientist. So your hair isn't going to be gorgeous, even though mine is. 
So when you're applying the brain, you're going to only put it attached to your forehead, unless you're a bald person, then lucky you. But you're going to just apply it to the forehead. Now you're going to take tissue paper and just start layering it onto your forehead and the brain, just so your brain and your forehead match. After having layers and layers and even more layers of tissue paper and latex, you're going to add color to match your skin. And even though this might be super difficult like it was for me, you just keep adding more and you might want to use some powder in there too. Now it's my favorite part. Wahahaha. This is where you kind of go crazy with the blood. You're going to want to have it like dripping off. 